To explain, I wrote a book that's already been mentioned about five years ago on British government in crisis, many at the time, also published by Hart, if I may say so. Two distinguished reviewers then observed that the talk of a crisis was an overstatement. I don't think anyone would say that now. That book gave my own views on how and why, how and why the crisis had developed. Something reasonably called a revolution, peaceful but inglorious, had happened since the early 1980s. As I put it, power has drained from parliament, cabinet and civil service into the PM and those around him. Power had moved from ministers to the PM, from the civil service to political advisors, and from parliament to the executive, whose principal accountability came to be the media, to the media. We have had three PMs, each with outstanding but different qualities. What limited their unbridled power was her or his exhaustion and the country's increasing ungovernability.